Hi, and welcome to this online tutorial, which will introduce you to R, an incredibly flexible software for statistical computing. R is actually so flexible in solving your specific problems that it can be rather confusing and frustrating for beginners. And we've all been down that road, some faster than others. The essence of programming languages like R is that you want to make the software do what you want, rather than letting yourself being constrained by the limits of out-of-the-box programs. There are tons of introductory and specialized R books out there, so the aim of this tutorial is really only to get you started. So we'll focus on teaching you the basic principles behind R, which should help you help yourself. What helped me tremendously, by the way, is to repeat the basics at regular intervals from different sources where people solve the same task in quite different ways. You'd actually be amazed of how much stuff you missed the first time. R can generally be used in two major environments, the R base installation and a more user-friendly environment called R Studio, which we recommend if you're an R beginner. R Studio provides a comfortable workspace management that makes it a little easier getting to know R. On the downside, however, if you become too attached to R Studio and its extras, but are at some point forced to work with base R, you may not have access to some of the things that you have grown used to. I will only use commands that you can also execute if you're following this tutorial without R Studio. Some of the shiny workspace management options we'll look at are only available in R Studio, but they're not essential to work with data or understand what we're doing here, and I will point out to what you can do in base R. In any case, even if you want to use R Studio, you will need to download and install base R, and it's recommended that you install R before you install R Studio. To download R, go to the Comprehensive R Archive Network, or CRAN, and navigate to the version of your operating system. And R is actually updated fairly regularly, so keep checking for updates. To install R Studio, go to the R Studio website and download the free version for R Studio Desktop and install. R Studio will look like this on all platforms.